New tonight, a Valley couple loses everything after their home catches fire. And tonight, their son is hoping his family's loss brings more awareness about the lack of fire hydrants in some areas. Well, firefighters said they struggled putting this fire out because of limited water in that area. And 13 Action News anchor Carla Wade right now is live near Fort Apache and Lone Mountain. Carla. <sighs> Trisha and Todd Shane says that he Shane Snyder says that his family has lived in this home since the 90s and he says that tonight they are still in shock and that they can't believe that the fire spread so quickly. They also said that they had no idea that a lack of water would be such a huge problem for firefighters trying to put the fire out. You hear about things all the time and you see it on the news all the time and you don't know. You really truly don't know until it happens to you. Shane Snyder describes the surreal feeling of seeing his parents' home gutted by a fire. The home, located on Fort Apache Road near Lone Mountain, burned and then smoldered for hours on a hot and windy day. Dad was over there today and uh, he, even the refrigerator literally melted to the ground. All the metal in the house just melted. It's just pure ash and nothing and firefighting efforts in this rural area of unincorporated Clark County were complicated by more than just weather. Fire hydrants were spaced far and few between it. The nearest one several thousand feet away, something Shane noticed when he was directed to park a street over as crews worked feverishly to save his family's home. And when I got out, that's where the fire hydrant just happened to be randomly. And it struck me just walking from the fire hydrant, literally walking all the way. It was a long, long walk to get to the house. If a new subdivision was, if they were to tear all this down and put a new subdivision in with sidewalks and street lights and that, it would be required to have the real close fire hydrants all the way around. There needs to be a fire hydrant near, near those houses. Those houses have been there forever. They're right by the 215 freeway. It's a modern area. And, you know, with a modern freeway, but no fire hydrants. It just makes no sense at all. Neighbors told 13 Action News the fire was a wake up call for the entire area and that they plan to lobby for more hydrants. That's saving lives. That should be priority number one. Carla Wade, 13 Action News. This is what's left of the Snyder. This is what's left of the Snyder family's home. There are a lot of burnt items surrounding that home, truly just showing how destructive that fire was. But now the Snyder family is determined to find a purpose amongst all of this destruction. Las Vegas fire and rescue crews fought a hard fight against a house fire, but the flames still destroyed the home Shane Snyder's parents lived in for decades. Furniture, I mean, you name it. My grandpa's stamp collection from the 1700s home movies. The lifetime of memories were turned to ashes, but one thing was spared from the blaze. And this is the flag, the famous flag that um, was rescued by the firemen. The simple flag, now an emotional reminder for the Snyder family to find purpose. It was very poignant. Because on that tragic Thursday, the flames and strong winds weren't all that crews were up against. The other problem we had was the limited water in the area, so we had to lay uh, at least a thousand, if not two thousand feet of hose on the road to bring adequate water. Shane took this video as the fire burned, showing just how far the nearest fire hydrant was. So that was my guidance system to get to the house. And as I was walking, jogging, um, I began to realize I didn't even know where I was. And it, and it went on forever. Aside from rebuilding, their goal now is to see more hydrants in the Northwest Valley neighborhood. They only have so much water in the trucks. And, you know, if they had a fire hydrant some way, they could have saved most of the house. So the day the Snyder's home stands once more, That's they'll make fire. sure other homes stay standing too. If we could save another home or save another person's family from going through this, we want to turn this tragedy and this some positive. And the Snyders are staying in a motel with their two dogs that they managed to save from the fire as well, because as you can see, their home is a complete loss as well as everything in it. So if you'd like to help out the family, we'll include a link to their GoFundMe page on our website, lasvegasnow.com. Reporting live in the Northwest Valley, Darlene Melendez, 8 News Now.